Hello YouTube and welcome to yet another Champion Spotlight. I know it's been a long time since I made one, that's mainly because I forgot about it. But this time we're here with Velkas, the Eye of the Void. Velkas is a mage, pure mage. He has a very high uh, learning curve, so I won't recommend him uh, for the newer players. But for you who have played him a while, I will recommend him. First of all, we look at the skins. This is the original skin, um, simply Velkos. And uh, well, the secondary skin is Battlecast Velkos. Came out the same day as Velkos was released. And here in the background, you can see a little little Battlecast Swain or something. It looks like. And in the background here, you have Battlecast Shogoth. Yeah, something like that. Over to you, say build this. First of all, his passive. Uh, Velkos spells uh, build organic destruction stack on enemies. The third spell hit consumes the stack and deals true damage. This stack is, is as to say, uh, it uses true damage, which cannot be blocked by either armor or magic resist. It's a pure damage stack. Nothing can stop it. As you see here, as the third stack hits, it deals a massive amount of damage in true damage. The thing about his passive is also that it will disappear after a little while, but if you keep on auto attacking, it will still stay with the same amount of stacks as it was after the last attack. Over to his Q, which is called Plasma Fusion. Velkos shows a bolt of plasma that split in two on reactivation or upon hitting an enemy. The bolt slows and damages on hit. This spell also, as all of his other spells, deals a stack. The thing about his Q Plasma Fusion it, is that it's the perfect way to poke an enemy during a laning phase. Over to his W, Void Rift. Velkos opens a rift to the void and deals an initial burst of damage, then explodes for a second burst of damage after the delay. The thing about Void Rift is that on the first hit it deals a stack, on the second hit it deals a secondary stack. So with one Void Rift you can deal up to two stacks at the same time. This spell can also be cast during movement, it will not slow him, it will not interrupt the movement, he will keep on going. Over this E, Tectonic Disruption. Velkos causes an air area to explode knocking up enemies and knocking close enemies slightly away. This is the perfect way to sort of start an attack. If your jungler is close, knock this out so they get knocked up and they have time to attack. This also deals damage, uh, magic damage, as well as it puts on a stack. So during a team fight, if you're behind your teammates doing range damage, this might be the perfect way to get an upper hand by knocking up enemies, making your teammates able to deal, deal damage while the enemy just have to sit and wait. Life form disintegration ray. His R spell, aka his ultimate. Velkos unleashes a channel beam that follows the cursor for two and a half seconds, 
that deals damage and slows enemies. It doesn't matter how many enemies is in the way, it will still keep on doing damage to all the enemies, no damage reduction for how many enemies it hits, and slows every single enemy that in this ray. The thing about this ultimate is that Velkos will be immovable while he does this, so you should use it while you're not in the middle of a fight. You should not stand in the middle, you should stand a little bit further in the back, helping your teammates take down the enemy. Another thing about life form disintegration ray is that it continuously feeds on stacks on the enemy champion. Every time it hits 3 and deals 3 damage, it starts over again. For some tips on Velkos, I would start off with Unholy Grail uh, simply to get some extra mana because he is a mana thirsty champion. When it comes, when you're done with that, I used to go. If I have a good laning, I will go directly for normal boots and then jump over to Zonia's death cap. Not Zonia's hourglass. Uh, so that if the enemy comes too close, you can use his Zonia's, have your E ready, and be able to get away. Further, I would go with Leandris to get some extra damage over time. And of course, the all known. Rabadon's death cap. Feel free to um, use whatever you like, test it out, um, but I don't recommend Velkos for newer players. So you should play the game a little, uh, get used to sort of the mechanics, uh, basic mechanics, and then I would give this a go. Uh, he's one of my favorite champions, and yeah, he's a really fun champ to use when you know how to use him. So, I hope you all enjoyed this quick champion spotlight. Like the last time, I'm not a pro in doing champion spotlights, due to the fact that I'm doing this as a hobby. So, hope you all enjoyed. And if you have any tips for other champions you want me to make a champion spotlight of, please leave a comment down below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter as well. I'm going to leave a link to that down below, so you can see when I release my videos. Hope you all enjoyed, and have an ultimate day. Ultimate Dino to out. Thanks for watching everybody, hope you all enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave a subscribe, and smack that like button on the bottom. Until next time, Ultimate Dino to out.